Hey guys, uh, finally I am back with another feral gameplay. Uh, from now on I'm thinking of doing just one mission per video. So currently we are in Perwajit, the precarious Nile. Our objectives are a population of 600, 10 modest homesteads, and we have to build a granary and fill it with figs. The Thinai nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you, we, will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit, in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river to support a population larger than a village you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich, fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Okay, so we're going to have to do farming. So we could see some hippos, some hippos, and a bunch of farming land all over the place. So I'm going to start by putting some houses over here. I'm going to cut this area off and let's see. We can build a water supply right here. And our firehouses uh, and an architect's post. I don't think we really need a police station yet, so we'll be okay on that. And we're gonna have to do farming, so I'm gonna try to start that right away. So I'm gonna do like a. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna do a. A square up here so that our walkers just sort of um, do like a circle when they're going through that area. And I'm going to start right away with some fig farms and in order to uh, employ those fig farms we need work camps. So we can both run right there. And I like to put the granary right there, but these people are walking through. Oh, let me just speed it up. Oh, I missed my chance. <laughs> okay, let's just wait for a second. I'm probably going to want to build a couple houses there. And we can throw in an architect's post and a fire. Oops, I clicked the and an architect's post and once these people decide not to walk through my path I'm gonna build the granary got it all right you can speed it up a bit so these people they're gonna need food first I'm gonna build their bazaar and, uh, I don't think we'll have that much problems with money. I think we should be okay money-wise. We really need those pla these places to be employed. And okay, now they're employed. And uh, some people are going to go out to our fig farms and start spreading seeds around and cultivating our wonderful fig farm. And these people are just going to need food and desirability, which we don't have yet. However, I can build a temple right away, and that should help people out. Temples tend to have more desirability than just regular buildings. Um, bazaars have low desirability. Work camps, farms, and all that, they have very low desirability. I'm actually going to probably build... Um, two more farms and I think that's all I can fit right here 
Uh, I don't think I'll need to expand or anything, so. I think we should be good. And we can always build some shrines right there. And shrines, again, are higher desirability. And eventually we will need uh, booths and juggling schools. We're just gonna wait until they get fixed. Let's see. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now we're getting a bunch of figs. Everything's employed. I could build a village palace. Okay, so this is just talking about building clay pits and pottery people. Should I build it? Oh my goodness, that was expensive. <laughs> it was like a thousand debons. That was a lot. Okay, so I could start right away with my clay pit. Let's see. And clay pits uh, make clay, which can be made into pottery, and then that gets put into storage yards. So. And clay pits need to be put in very green areas, but not just green areas, they need to be very close to the water. So, let's see. Great, so these people are getting food. However, I don't have desirability controls yet. So I'm going to build along here and build one clay pit and one potter. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. And one single storage yard. And I can also, um, this might be a little bit overkill, but I don't really want anything burning down. So I'm going to build uh, these over here. And I'll do special orders on this to only accept pottery. And yeah, we should be good on figs. If you tend to, if you're making too much uh, food products, you can always throw them into a storage yard because uh, once this water comes in, you sort of lose everything. That's happened to me a couple times where the water uh, floods in and you lose uh, some guys who are standing there waiting for delivery instructions. It happens. Uh, let's see. We still don't have any beautification. And these are all having detrimental effects on desirability. I don't know how we can do that besides building shrines everywhere. I wonder what these people need next. I think they need entertainment next. I could start with that. I can build my juggler school and I'll put the booth right there so that the jugglers will end up walking past all of these houses. And I'm gonna build some shrines too. Why not? I'll build a shrine there. And I'll build one here. I can even check my overlay. Desirability overlay. Yeah, everything's pretty crummy. Doesn't look good. Um, this is making it desirable, but not enough, really. And our unemployment is, is kind of high, but I think we'll be okay. Although the police station, too don't want vagrants to come and steal from us. I can build the police station right there. And I think that should be good. Okay. So apparently we have sick people now. Quite a lot of sick people. Okay, so let's build the physician. And 
We'll build the apothecary right here as well. Let's see, what does the apothecary do? Not operational, does nothing for the health of the <laughs> physician is operational. Community is healthy and fit. Community is healthy and fit. I think the apothecary is someone for malaria, but I'm not sure. Once they pass here, these people should be cured, and they, it only lasts for a month. So we should be good. Oh, yay. Pottery. Pottery, which we should be getting very, very, very soon. I'd like to build more farms, but I just don't have the room. I think our population goal is 600. I can't fit it there. I think I should be okay. I could always, I guess, go this way, but I don't have roadblocks. I really need roadblocks. I think roadblocks and desirability unlock in this one, but it's just taking so long. I'll speed her up. Hippos. There we go. So here we go. Gardens, statues, plazas, and roadblocks. So let's start by putting some gardens behind all these houses. And then we'll uh, build some plazas along here. Okay, perfect. I think that should be really nice. Make our people happy. And... Roadblock opens up and water crossings, but... We don't need to go across there in this uh, um, mission at all. So we're pretty good. We got modest homesteads and we got a bunch of people coming in. See this one I'm talking about? This guy's gonna get trapped. So let's open up figs over here. And he should. There we go. There he goes. We got a lot of unemployment. I'm going to build another work camp and then once this opens up, I'm going to put uh, more farms up there. And I'm going to set this as get maximum and then uh, once this opens up, a guy should come and collect these goods to put over here. What is this all about? Okay, need food. I think I might be able to put a roadblock right here. Mm, yes, I think that's right. Okay. We might even beat the mission already. Oh no, what happened? Do a little entertainment. Maybe I shouldn't put this roadblock here. Wait, let's see. But these, they're crossing right by it. I'm confused. Why is there not enough entertainment? Let me build a, a juggler's booth right here and see if that fixes it. Because they're clearly walking by. There we go. Let's see if that works. And I'll, I'll build another juggler school. We do need jobs, or uh, we need jobs. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna be doing one mission per episode because after this, they get kind of long. So. 
all right we beat it so thank you guys for watching and um i'm gonna try to do these more often obviously this one took me a while to come out with i was uh waiting until my computer was all set up and i'm thinking of doing these as like saturday bonus videos instead of uh, my normal weekly videos uh so look for these on saturdays which i think is when i'm going to be releasing any gaming videos in the future so again thank you guys for watching <laughs>